What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video and today we're going to discuss different memory card options for our PSP consoles. And I want to give a shout out to Patrick R for bringing up the subject and having a great question on one of my videos. And his question was basically, hey, which one is the best option for me? Which one is the best one to go for? So I'll talk about that in this video. Now, there are three different types of memory cards that we can use on our PSP. We have the original Memory Stick Pro Duo card. And unfortunately, these go only up to 32 gigabytes. And our second option is very popular is the micro SD adapter. This is a single adapter and it works great and our third option is the dual micro SD slot adapter and so I'll be talking about my experience with each card and which one is the best and which one is the worst so so let's start off with the worst card option for your PSP and that's going to be the dual slot adapter unfortunately and my experience with these cards have just been the same 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 and I get corrupt files it reads slow and the quality of these adapters are just terrible they're very cheap they break easily and as you can see it's just a very simple flimsy uh, ribbon cable with the connectors to read each card and that's basically it and I kept getting a lot of different problems like one card wasn't reading I put two 64 gigabyte cards in this one years ago and one card wasn't reading so every time I saw 64 gigabytes and I wasn't seeing the full 128 and I kept pulling my card out and eventually it just kind of fell apart and I bought two brand new ones of Amazon not too long ago and I bought two different uh, types one says photo fast and one just says the MS Pro Duo. So I'm going to test both of these in the future and have a different video on which one works the best and how we can use these the best way and not to damage them because these are very flimsy and I know a lot of people want this option because you have some so much more space to add all your games and all the content like videos, movies, music and uh, photos. So yeah for me this is just not the best option but I will test these two and these were 10 bucks each on Amazon and I'll have links for everything that I'm talking about in the description down below if you're interested in buying any of this stuff and giving it a shot for yourself so yeah these uh, dual adapters just very poor design uh, bad quality and it's just not I wouldn't recommend really using this but like I said I will test them and we'll go from there moving on to the single card adapter very popular and a lot of people use this and I'm currently using one here and I bought both of these brand new off Amazon and I'm using a Samsung 64 gigabyte Evo card and it's working just fine but I am having some issues where I cannot connect a USB connection to my PC anymore so I don't know what's going on with this card but lately since I kind of abandoned a installation of a plugin uh, this card has been kind of buggy and all my files got corrupted and I had to restart again so and I do experience a little bit of lag when I disconnect from USB connection and I'm trying to go to my memory card under game and it just kind of sits there and lags for about two to four seconds it's not too much time but yeah there's just a little bit of lag nothing too crazy and you can go up to like 512 gigabytes but for me it's just not realistic just because it's, it's too much space and you might have too much content and too many video games on your SD card and your PSP is just gonna have a hard time trying to read everything and you're gonna just experience a lot of wait time just trying to sort through your games and one plugin I highly recommend you guys installing is the plugin called categories or category light plugin and it just helps you categorize all your games into specific folders and that way when you're going into your homebrew or your ps1 games or psp games you won't experience that lag when your psp is trying to read the library of 
different games and all the content on your PSP and it's just focusing on that one folder which is great and also you have so many different options when it comes to micro SD cards uh, all sorts of different sizes and different name brands and different uh, lettering and icons this one says extreme and this one's Evo what the hell does it all mean that I will explain in another video because it's just too much to talk about when it comes to all the different little icons the speed rights you have certain megabyte rights uh, it's just it's just overwhelming sometimes when it comes to trying to figure out which one is the best card for me which one is the best card to use on a PSP I would suggest using a Samsung Evo 128 gigabyte that is the best card to use personally for me I've had great experience with that card I have no issues and it's pretty quick and it's a name brand that way you know it's nothing too cheap obviously SanDisk is one of the bigger names but if you have a card that just doesn't say anything and it says 32 gigabyte or just says 64 gigabyte I do not recommend using that because you might experience some problems in the future where you might get some corrupt files or the SD card is just not compatible with the files you're trying to load on it and just all sorts of things you just want to avoid in the future so now these don't break easily they work just fine and I bought multiple just because I want all my PSPs to have the same content to have the same size to have the same plugins to have the same emulators and everything that way if one day I want to play on the PSP 3000 I can without changing out cards and that's the great thing about these little adapters and these little micro SD cards is that they go so cheap the 128 gigabyte goes for 20 bucks like I said earlier and I'll have that link in the description down below and finally we have the original memory stick pro duo card unfortunately these go up to 32 gigabytes but if you're looking to just get a few games a few PSP games a few PS1 games a few emulators homebrews and just mess around a little bit this is your best option because this card was built for what it was built for and it's just the performance wise just beats everything else and it just works amazing and if you can get your hands on a 32 gigabyte original Sony PSP card go for it because that is the best option unfortunately you don't have one they're very hard to find they're very expensive to get an original authentic 32 gigabyte card and that's just what I personally would love to have uh, the highest I do have here is just two eight gigabytes and that's just not enough for me that that just fills up with what I'm just working with uh, when it comes to the videos and just showing you guys all the content that I'm using right now but yeah that's just not enough uh, the four gigabytes a joke one two obviously is a joke the options for you are eight 16 and 32 and those are the highest that you can possibly go on the uh, memory stick pro dual side so so that is it for this video guys thank you so much for watching if you guys have any questions comment down below and also let me know your experience and what you're rocking on your PSP what type of cards you're using what size what do you recommend let me know in the comment section down below and let's just have some fun with this and in the future, I will be updating you guys on these adapters and going really high and just going really stupid with these sizes and seeing which one is the best when it comes to performance. Uh, and I also will be testing these two out. So look out for that video in the future. So subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any videos like this in the future. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out a lot with the YouTube algorithm. And that is it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Be safe out there with that damn virus. We will beat this together, guys. We will beat this. We will conquer. Take care, and I'll see you on the next one.